So in this video tutorial, we're going to look at creating a header and a very simple navigation bar in Fireworks CS5. The possibilities are endless. Again, you're only limited by your imagination. What I've opened on my screen right now is an end result of a nav bar. So you can see we have these different links. And as I hover over, we're going to just add a feature to show that we are uh, rolling over. And again, as I've said quite often, you're only limited by your imagination. So I'm going to go, I'm going to create a new a new document. Now, what we always want to think of too is that we're getting ready. Right now I'm getting ready for the web. I'm going to put a white background, but <clears throat> if you're preparing for the web, sometimes you will want it to be transparent if you're placing it in uh, on a background image or something of the sort. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to keep it my width at about 900 pixels, my height at a 150, and I'm actually going to up the resolution a little bit so it doesn't get so pixelated, and I'm going to hit OK. So there I have it. Now, first things first, I'm going to create a very simple header. And to do so, again, possibilities are endless. I'm going to just take my rectangle tool, and I'm going to just draw a box and it has a fill. Now if I wanted to align this center, again, the properties panel is a place we'll look quite a bit. I can see my exact size. I have 824 by 76. I'll move this up just a tad bit. I can see where it is on the X and the Y axis. I'm going to go for more of an even number. I'm going to go for 825 by just for the sake. Sometimes it makes it a little bit by, by 75. Okay, so there we go. Next I'm going to do is I'm going to come on in and I'm going to just start to type. Uh, okay, so this is the name of the site. Okay, I'm going to highlight this. As I come on into my properties panel, again, this is where I can see all of this font. I can see the color that's specified. If I wanted to, I could make this a little bit bigger, you know, put it up to 22. Okay. Maybe I'll even go a little bit higher, 26, all right. If I wanted to, I could, and again, it's not really, it's not necessarily, it's centering it based on the box. So again, I could hover, and I know that I'm getting into the center right when I get that line. That's what's really great about uh, fireworks is it gives you a lot of visual clues. Now, if I wanted to, too, you know, I could add an effect um, if I'd like to. I could work with all of these different features to really get a more finished product. product. Oop. Uh, now if I wanted to come in and I wanted to change uh, the box, I could do that too. So I could come on over, I could up the roundness on the edges um, to maybe about 26 or so. Uh, it's at 40, so there we have it. Now if I wanted to on this box, I could add a filter to, again the possibilities really are endless. Could add a little bit of a of a drop shadow, um, and with the drop shadow, I could get rid of the blur, um, and you know lower down the pixels if I'd like. All right, so lots and lots and lots of possibilities. Now, this has a, uh, a simple white edge around it, and I could also turn that off completely, and voila, there we have it. The beginning of our, um, we're at the beginning of this. Now, um, I just want to take a look too. You know, as we look at these two, there's a lot of different choices that we have with the stroke too. So, um, you know, I would, I would recommend playing around with it, seeing what you could do. So for instance, let's say that I wanted to just take a quick look at the stroke. If I wanted to add a stroke, I'm going to come on in here. I'll turn it on to white. Why not? And I can up it, maybe put it up to three pixels. Okay, we can see that there. And then we can come on in here and we can come to calligraphy. We can say, you know, uh, basic. That one didn't change much. So again, play around with it and see, see what you can come up to. So come on up to stroke options. This would be better. Change it from calligraphy and we can come on in and make this dashed. So there we have it. Okay, moving right along. Um, and I'm not so wild about the strokes, so I'm gonna actually turn it off, but I recommend going in, playing around, lots of possibilities. 
Okay, so now let's say that I wanted to create a very simple navigation bar like the navigation bar that I just showed you. This is what we would do. We could come on in, I'm going to draw um, a box underneath for the nav bar, and I'm going to have it line up with the one up on top. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool, and again, what's really wonderful about fireworks is it tells you, so I get this line that's telling me, okay, now you are lining up. Okay, let's say that I wanted to apply the same um, effects. Well, I could do that. And what I could do is I could actually add it in as a style. So I'm going to select this. I'm opening up my styles. I have the top one selected. And I'm going to say add a new style. I want the fill type, the fill color, the effect, uh, and that's what I want to have. So I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to grab onto this. And I want to apply. What I just did was I applied that same style. Now the problem is that my rounded corner doesn't come through. So I can click. I see this is a roundness of 40. I can click down here and I can put that in. Okay, so now they are the same. Now what I want to do next is I'm going to put in my words. Okay, so I'm going to grab on to my type, my T tool for type, and I'm going to click and I'm going to, my first word is home. Move this over, move this over, up, whichever I want to do, home, images. Now again, I have this font I'm working with. The font I'm working with is um, Yellow Jacket, and there's a lot of really cool free fonts out there. Um, home, images, my next one is Multimedia. Probably I'm going to have to make this oh, a little bit smaller so it all fits. Multimedia. Okay. And moving right along. Multimedia. I'm going to finish typing this. I'll unpause in a minute. I have all of these typed out. And now what I'm going to do to line them up evenly, I'm going to shift, click. Okay, so I've just placed everything out <clears throat> pretty much where I want it to be. I might want to come in and lower the font size a little bit. Let's say, yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm going to come on in and lower the font size. Now what I could do too is turn this into a style and then just uh, apply the style, but I'm going to just come in manually and adjust the size. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come on in to the states and start to create what I want to happen when it is on a rollover. Okay, so I come on in, I have these all set at 22, and I come to my state, and what I want to say is, I'll select all of these, and I'm going to say, I'm gonna control click, right click on the PC, I'm gonna duplicate my state, and I'm gonna say okay. So there's state one, here's state two. All right, so now what do I want to happen? When someone rolls over into state two, I want something to happen. So this is what I'm going to do. And again, the possibilities are only limited by your imagination. I'm going to grab the brush tool and we'll make it like, um, who knows? Let's try. Let's come on in. Let's, let's make it calligraphy. We'll make it bamboo. And I'm going to zoom it on in a little bit here. I'm in state two. Come to my brush. I'm going to up this. Let's up it to five pixels. So we come on in. Home. Okay. Images. Multimedia. Writings. Links, contact. Okay, great. So our next step is what we want to do is I come back to state one, state two. Okay, so I want to come back into here. Now what I want to do is I want to slice this. So I come on down to this image right here, slice tool. I click, I slice. I come to my next one. I'm going to go through 
and do this to all of these. I'm just going to come in and slice it. Click slice. I'm going to pause and finish slicing. All right, so I have all of these images sliced. Now, what I want to do too is come back in and make sure as I look at these, excellent, that everything is where I want it to be and it's perfect, it's perfectly where I want it to be. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click my slice, control click my slice, and I'm going to add a simple rollover behavior. I'm going to come to the next one, same thing. Add a simple rollover behavior, next one. Add a simple rollover behavior, next one, control click or right click on the PC. I'm just adding the simple rollover behavior, control click. All right, so now let's preview it. So I hit preview, and I can see as I roll over, that is what happens. So again, you can see that you could do a lot of really cool stuff here. I'm going to come back to my original, come to File, Preview, Preview in Firefox. Dun, 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 dun. Now it takes a minute to start to work. But the good thing is, is that when you actually are live on the web, this is just a preview. So I come, I hover, and I can see that this is what happens. Dun, 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 dun. I know it's a link. I could do a lot of different things. I could you know, change the color. I could add a little image. You could swap out the word home for a little picture of a house. Um, so again, the possibilities are endless. You're only limited by your imagination. Now, just real quick to look at fireworks. How does this work then when you get ready to bring it onto the web? Well, what we can see is that we can click onto here and then um, if this was a link, we would actually put in the link info here, okay? And same as we click to there. So we can see that Fireworks is really a great place to create some really cool graphics as we prepare ourselves to publish on the web. Thanks for listening. One last thing I forgot to cover when we're saving this. We come to File, we want to preview it, Save As. Okay, now what we're going to see is that we're going to get the option for actually better yet when we're exporting it for the web this is what we want to do we want to come to file export and then what we're going to do is we're going to export it as an html and images uh, we could also just do it as the html um, but i'm going to put it um, i have a very very messy desktop i'm going to put it in why not we'll put it on my desktop so I'm going into my pictures, go to Maggie, uh, let's put it on the desktop, and I'm going to name it Seedlings, and I'm going to put it on the desktop, I'm going to say export, dun 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 dun, and then I will open it up and preview it, so I'll have to go to my desktop, but better yet, I'll do a little search and I'll find it here, and I'm looking for the one that has the HTML extension and here it is and I preview it on the web again once it's live it won't have those has those little glitches in when you first load it and that is what it looks like so we'll leave it at that thanks for listening another thing um, that we quite often want to do um, is as we're working on the web we constantly have to refresh our page so again what you want to do with this one is export it as an HTML htm or you can save it as the slices and then you place the slices in so thanks so much